Hey everybody, I'm Tektos and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Legends. We are playing the cultists on impossible difficulty. Doing well so far, I would say. Um, it's the first time I'm even able to keep up in terms of points with the AI. And that is pretty... That is really eye-opening. Like, these guys are really strong in the expansion. Now, some of you told me and it turns out to be right because and I think it needs a little... We'll see how it turns out in the later stages of the game. But I think it needs a little adjusting. Because these uh, one-time... Like if we go here. Um, this thing here. It's very strong. But the downside is you can only build it once in your empire. This thing here. Very strong. But only once per empire. And you get these... A couple of these. Plus the... Um, the epic buildings. For the cultists, though, they only have that one city. So if you build these things, they don't have no downside. They are just ridiculously good, and uh, there's no downside at all to them. Which, I don't think they thought that through completely. It feels a little bit... Like, I don't mind being up there in points, but at this point of the game, usually I'm behind already. Like, at 100 points, 110 maybe. So... Yeah, it feels like they need to adjust it just a little bit, but we'll, we'll see how it turns out. Um, uh, let's let's risk it and auto fight. There we go. That's fine. This guy can regenerate. Ah, because I wasted so much time babbling. I don't want to waste more by uh, fighting. Period. That's it. Okay. So, um, how are we doing? Two turns for that. I think we're ready to take a turn. Really? That early on? Is he gonna do it? <gasps> He's gonna do it. Unbelievable. <laughs> Alright, um, so one turn for the glory of the Empire. That means we can probably... No, we can't. That got it. I want these Titan Boosters back, man. Really need to. On the other side, I can't really spare the influence. We need two turns. That's 80. That's gonna be 200... Yeah, just barely over 200, so we're barely going to be able to get that that Empire plan I want. Hmm. Yep, that's just it. Can I... No. Can't adjust anything. So it seems like we distributed our workers perfectly, which is... Uh, it's fine. I don't have to fiddle around with them every turn. And here comes winter. Oh, nice! Only one turn for the alchemy workshop. Wow. That's, uh, that's cool. So now we're making 55 influence. We're not growing in, like, it was supposed to grow in two turns. Now we're not doing that. Let's make a little more influence. Do I even need that guy? Yeah, I need that guy. <laughs> Alright. Whatever, maybe like so. Yeah, like so is fine. I want to get more production in the borough streets, because they are important. Um, I want to level these... I want to finish the triangle somewhat soon. So uh, we can actually level the museum up and then we won't have to worry about happiness anymore i think because it's gonna have one two three yeah it's gonna be level two and that way we don't have to worry at all good um i forgot my train of thought we got the borough streets here we got the workshop did we queue up more techs no we didn't that's my train of thought all right so winter's gonna be on average, 10 turns, where we probably won't move far. So in these 10 turns, what can we do? We need more food, so uh, let's go for that. We do have an excess of glass steel, so Z is good. Um, we're going to get the Empire plan, so buying out stuff is going to become relevant. Actually... Yeah, probably get this, this. Ah, it's so hard to prioritize. Um, this gonna probably be three. 
Like so. Seems good. Yep, that seems good to me. We don't need the nameless guards yet, though. I want to start them somewhat soon. And we need the Imperial coinage like yesterday. So the question is, do we produce the granary and the alchemy workshop the old-fashioned way and get f go for the boosters first? I think we do. I think we do. Because um, we only need 10 of each booster and we can basically fire every booster we want. And that's going to just make the Empire so much stronger. And we also need to complete the quest here. We need 10 Quicksilver. I'm not sure if it's available on the market, but it's sure worth a try. Because then we're going to have two Ursa's villages that, uh, for one, we can pacify, but uh, more importantly, they get to... we get 10% building cost reduction. Because that is the faction that I'm going to assimilate. Alright, now we can uh, take a turn. Oh, can we workshop? Thank you very much. And now we need to do the empire plan and uh, this is gonna be it now I realize the vision is not necessary but it's it's convenient it's very convenient so I'm gonna go for that can't really afford this but I'm gonna invest 20 extra influence to have a little convenience so here we go station these guys next to the village so we can uh, talk and uh, go on with the quest and get the alchemy workshop in here. Next turn we're probably going to be able to afford to buy it. And uh, for that reason... Can we... Oh, gosh. So expensive. Five turns. I need more people in the city. God damn it. I just need one more guy maybe stick him uh, not not on here on here yeah that would be lovely but can't afford it yet mm. yeah I want to have that good uh, what else not much uh, we probably can end it here yep let's end it <laughs> Ah, so hard. Ah, there we go. Uh, leveling up the Agile Mover is a no-brainer because more mobility just is very important for um, for the cultists, I think especially because you need to cover so much space to actually protect all these villages. So, uh, can I now move you out of there? No, I can't. Can I get you to one turn? No, I can't. All right, whatever. Can I move one out here? No, I can't. Fine. Okay. Be like that, game. Um, what did we just... I wish I could see, like, let me see the luxuries that are available, and then I could judge if it's worth rushing for it or not, but it's fine anyway. Alright, so 200 for um, the Alchemy Workshop, I think, is gonna be worth it. Or do we stockpile some cash? I think we stockpiled it for a while. Now we're doing on boosters. One turn for the Emeralds, that's fine. Six turns for the Wine, one turn for the Gold. Okay, so the Gold we can reactivate easily. That's not, not a problem. So let's get, take that one turn. I'm going to reactivate the gold. Thank you very much. It's not that great of a booster for the uh, cultists, but it's it's good enough. Ah, now I can get one out. So uh, let's put you into influence production, why don't we? Little more is always nice. Okay, so granary, and uh, after that we're going to go for the imperial coinage. And that hopefully will... solve the quest here. We're hopefully going to be able to get some... What was it again? Um, something... Silk? Quicksilver. Yeah, almost. <laughs> there we go. It's grown to nine. So, uh, one more guy that can do stuff. 
Yeah. All right. Just gonna keep them there. Um, public granary really is necessary now because 15 extra food is gonna make all the difference. And we're probably just gonna buy it out. Maybe invest one turn and then just buy it out. Let's see. Three turns for the... Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I'm loving the progress. Really loving it. Thanks to blah 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 blah. Okay, so uh, somebody's in era 3 already. Era. Gosh, I can't get that right. In era 3. Well, we are... So there are six techs ahead of us. Though we can get the pragmatic scientist, which would really help out, but... Yeah. Can't afford it. Um, what else? Be the first to have at least 30 units at the same time, not including militia. Nor converted villages garrisons. Okay. Um, and the market alchemist. Hmm. So we need palladium and adamantium to get that. Now it says produce. I'm not sure if you actually have to produce it or if you can just buy it. Would be lovely if you could just buy it. Anyway, speaking of just buying it, 350, probably gonna invest one turn and then buy this one. And then go on with the Burrow Streets, because uh, we do need to complete the triangle sooner rather than later. Three turns. Oh, okay, three turns it is. <laughs> Damn. We need more dust, but uh, the good stuff for dust is only in Era 3, where you get the dust alchemy, the uh, dust refinery, the enhanced highway outposts, all that good stuff. So what's next? Imperial coinage in three turns. Um, gonna go for the prisoner, slave and volunteers. And then get the Nameless Guards, maybe, or is there... No, Nameless Guards seems good. And then get this. Because we do need to leave the island soon. Don't need uh, diplomacy. We're not going to do any peace treaties, I don't think. Because you can't trust the AI on that anyway. If they see a possibility of backstabbing, they probably won't hesitate. So. Okay. Tetrike's almost regenerated. That's pretty good. Oh, and we also need this here. Yep. Like so. Winter is boring, by the way. Oh! Nice. Okay. That is good news. Very good news. So we get an influence boost per... Wow, that's good news. Um, so it's now, now it's not even worth buying out that crap. Can we bring it down to one turn? No, we can't. Does it matter if we have anybody? Well, we need one guy in here. Though I'm not gonna buy out for one extra turn. That doesn't seem sensible. We could, however, buy out the Geomic Labs. Yep, 80, that's just too cheap. Should have done that earlier, so there's another blunder. And uh, in two turns, we're actually going to get the Imperial Coinage, which uh, hopefully will... Yeah, okay. You can just be sold. Thank you very much. Don't need you. I got two Vine Snakes in here, and the rest I want to have... Probably don't want to need a third one. Anyway, how many guys can I have? Four units, all right. One turn, one turn, one turn. Everybody's ready in one turn. That's good. Can we? No, we can't. Can we? No, we can't. Damn, I hate it. <laughs> can't do much, so uh, let's just take another turn and see what the market has to offer. Thank you very much. Finally. Luxuries. Uh, Quicksilver. What did we need? 
Quicksilver and 10 gold. Perfect. Let's uh, get the quest on. 10 Quicksilver. It's a little expensive, but that's okay. 200. That is okay. So let's get that done. Come on. Uh, Parlay. No, they're pacified. And let's convert you. It's really cheap. Thank you. And I'll also take your guy. Alright, so now we just need uh, nameless guards in here. Uh, Unknown Emperor just completed Visionary Leader. Be the first to pacify eight villages and you get the tactical training. 15% initiative. Sure. It's okay. He's level 5. More science, please. And wine ran out, but we should be fine. Oh no, we're not fine. We are not fine. Happy. Fervent is 85%, I hope. So uh, let us see if we can't get Moonleaf. Wow. Dice. Wow. Let's have some dice. That is 5. So now we're up to 80. And maybe is there wine on the market? No. Damn. There's spice though. Can we afford it? Yeah, we can afford it. So uh, is that enough for fervent? I don't know. 85, is that still happy? Damn! One more. One more. Dust Orchid, way too expensive. What's the cheapest booster on the market? Gold, we already have that running. Emeralds, we could go for five emeralds. Can we have that? No, we can't get it. Um, five wine. We can't get five wine and we can't get five emeralds. So we need... Red Sang? Really useless. Moonleaf? But uh, we'll need... That's gonna be 190. So we will need... 120. Well, good uh, Tetraik. Definitely can sell the wine snake. And we could sell. I don't know. Five of glass steel. And now we should be able to. Uh, no, 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 no. Where is it? Moon leaf. There we go. Get the moon leaf and fire that. Whoop. And we're fervent again. Also. Let's get the Ursus. 5% building production cost reduction per pacified village makes 10% now. So, uh, thanks. Could have gotten that earlier, but better late than never. <coughs> okay, prisoners, slaves, and stuff. So, uh, we do actually need to get buildings. Or, Nameless Guards is fine as well. In two turns, so we don't need you now. Don't need you at all. Can we grow faster? Like if we put two in here? No, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Yeah, I think I think we're good. We're growing fast enough, and uh, our science is going along well. I'm gonna run him into the. Into the capital, just, uh... Yep, okay. Finally finished with that turn. Ooh, that took some time. Ten Titan Bones, there we go. So we have another ten happiness that we could... Okay, the cultists wish to study ruins. Search the unspoiled ruins with at least two level two minor faction units in your army. Sure thing, buddy. What are you doing here? Oh, Harmonites. Hello! I like Harmonites. I really like Harmonites. Um, one turn to grow. Hmm, it's going pretty well, I would say. We don't need anybody on uh, production anymore. 
Let's uh, put the stronghold. Yep, let's put the stronghold there. Just Oh, it's going to be finished next turn anyway. Let's put the infantry cantina there. Just everything we can do to make the city just a little bit tougher to uh, actually invade. And now I'm going to bring my army down here. We're up there, right? Slaves and volunteers, then land the guards and... Yeah. So we could just take a look around, because now we actually have that... Oh, baby. Kasanji. Mm, 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 mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yep. Looking like we have a friendly neighborhood after all. So uh, what I want to be able to do is uh, pacify a lot of these guys. And uh, name this guard in two turns. We're rushing through the tech fast now. So uh, that is good. And we are going to finish the triangle. And these guys now pro provide 40 happiness. So uh, we're good on that front. We don't <laughs> probably won't need any happiness anytime soon. And we're going to stay on Fervent. Yeah, life is good. Get that. Yeah, I want to get some extra dust. Just in case we need to buy out more units and more boosters. And uh, also more resources. Now just for a test, let's do that. Buy one Adamantium. And uh, one Palladium. Does it? Does it do the trick? No. Should complete the quest, right? If uh, if that indeed was the way to complete it. And it doesn't seem like it was. Oh man! So we just wasted a hundred dust, but that's fine. We are we're doing it for science anyway. So uh, <laughs> everybody wondering if you could actually complete the epic deed of um, Market Alchemist, you really have to produce these resources. You can't just buy them. So, uh, there's that. Oh well. Good. Uh, now we're at the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did or didn't, there's a little comment box. Just voice your concerns there. And, um, what else? Yeah, just go around and have a wonderful day. See you around for the next episode. Until then, goodbye.